Hello everyone, this is Chris, and we have some spud work to attend to. If you remember at the end of last episode, I was given this hot potato give it to someone. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. And I think I know just the person to give it to. And that person, also known as uh, Evelyn, has been on vacation for the past uh, week or so, and she's coming home tomorrow as of recording this, so uh, what better gift to give her when she gets home than a... Uh, than a hot potato spud. And I gotta say, her library is looking pretty cool right now. Anyways, what we could do is we can link up a little bit of redstone to I think one of these doors. Now, the big question is, where did she log off in? Cause I don't wanna place it in like a place where she'd notice the observer. Um, maybe if I could just do it here? Maybe, in yeah, inside of here, because like, you know, like what, what are the odds that she would actually log off right, right here? Ooh, but we've, We've come to an issue. We've run into one of her one of her builds, so we're gonna have to really squeeze in this thing. But I still think it should be uh, should be doable. And there we go. There is literally the entire thing. And if we uh, just test it out, maybe put a little bit of dirt in there, and then we replace the door. There we go. Then everything actually gets a. Uh, get spat out now the big question is will it spit out things if it's covered that's the thing there yeah it does okay so this thing definitely definitely will work so that's that's good to know and so whenever she gets it she can pass it on to literally whoever she wants i just think uh probably not me because you know i literally just had it so anyone on the realm you want to give it to evelyn you want to sneak it onto them or something like that then uh then totally go for it but what's her big overarching like goal of this one episode well most of my plans today are revolved around the shopping district first off i built this shop a uh, an episode or two ago and yeah well it has a uh, has deemed a few diamonds like these four we got right here um it's not deemed as many as i actually thought so what i'm thinking on doing is um repurposing this one shop to sell the waxed copper, the uh, the aged type, because they take so long to, to age. And I think just selling them straight off rather than selling just one piece of them would be a, a little bit more ideal. Second off, this is a little bit unrelated to everything to do with the shopping district, but in between episodes, I decided to build that, um, that broken rail thing I showed off not so long ago, just because I think it's just such a fun uh, ride to head on to. Like, I could go on this thing literally all day. If I didn't have to do things on the realm, I would literally just ride this thing all day, because it is just that much much fun to write on but anyways when walking around the shopping district you see that most of the big things have already been uh, taken up first off with food which uh, we will have to make more competition later and then with like flowers and wool and like so many other types of things have been filled up already like the niche has already been filled with so many things but then I had an idea because I have a certain skill which I'm sure not many other cosmics actually have and that is creating note block songs so what if I were to make a shop that could sell pretty much note block songs or at least a note block like doorbells or something like that because making those uh those long minute or two songs takes like seriously so long so maybe what if I made just like a um a note block doorbell shop one it would give me a fun project to do every now and then making note block songs for uh, people on the realm and also I think like it could be a pretty, uh, pretty profitable thing. Like, I know there's only, um, a finite amount of bases and stuff on the, uh, on the realm, but I still think it could, uh, it could wield at least a few diamonds here and there. And even though I say these note block doorbell noises aren't going to be too long, that doesn't mean there's a, uh, a finite length. Like, I'm just not planning on making them too incredibly long. I mean, unless there's a very specific thing, and unless they have, a uh, they have the diamonds for it, I'm not really gonna make anything, uh, too incredibly long and you're probably wondering why i'm heading back to uh, back to where my castle is well that's mainly because i did a little bit of resource grinding off camera around here and i completely forgot that all the resources for this shop i left it all the way back here and what we're actually going to be using for this note block shop is actually some of the uh, some of the newer stuff mainly the um i don't i can't remember what this is called but it's the uh, completely uh, green oxidized copper but yeah this is taken so long to get like out of all these around here it's taken so long just to get one singular one to age so then what i did is i spaced them out a little bit and it seems as though they're uh, they're taking a little less time but yeah another thing i'm going to be using is a uh, deep slate some stone bricks and other types of things like that oh also one other little thing this isn't related to what we're doing today but in between episodes i actually went mining and got every single version of the deep slate ores and i know many people have been trying to get every single one of the deep slate versions and you know what i figured a uh, 
jumping into it too and trying to get it myself and thankfully I did uh, I did accomplish that. Anyways, let's pack up via the deep slate ores, get everything we need and head back to the shopping district. Ooh, Evelyn is on right now and it sounds like um I might I might just about be uh, getting her with the uh, with the spud. And while that's going on, let's actually get to work on this note block shop. And what this shop is going to have on the top is sort of a um a sign up place or not a sign up place, more like a um you know, a list or just, you know, the song you want made and the uh, and the place where you want it. And then below, there's going to be a, I guess, basement floor, which will give you just an just an idea as to what types of uh, types of note block songs I'll be making for your base. Uh oh, I think she I think she got the spud and oh, no, oh, no, I may or may not have a gift. Um, um, oh, if only she knew if only she knew I had it before uh, before. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do if I if I got if I get it again, um, I guess um. Do we, do we accept it again and find some other person to give it to? Or do we, uh, do we tell her that we, uh, that we actually had it before? You know what? I will leave it as a, as a, a surprise for when this video comes out. Cause I'm sure, uh, I'm sure she didn't have a, um, didn't have quite the idea as, as what I have. Oh, here she is. Here she is. Oh, what we should do. We should just, um, fill in her inventory just to make sure that, you know, she can't get, get anything. Each chest, please. Um, okay. I can, I can happily happily oblige um all right there you go is she actually getting what i think she's getting is she actually is she actually doing it or is she just giving me something else if she's giving me something else i'll feel a little bit guilty but um but i don't know okay oh oh that that's nice oh oh i i see I see, I see, I see what you're doing. I literally just got rid of this like five minutes ago in the video. D Evelyn, come on. I got you, he he. Well, I literally just had it earlier on, but um, well, I. All right, at least I at least I have six more diamonds to my name, but I j I literally just got rid of this. Like seriously, what is a spudded man supposed to do when he keeps getting spudded? Putting the hot potato aside, we're actually doing some pretty uh, decent work at this one shop. And with this, we have the entirety of the bottom completely done. Well, sort of, because the idea is to have this be the completely um green cyany oxidized state and right now this is a uh, very clean and very orange so hopefully later on this thing will oxi oxidize a little bit in the meantime let's work on these walls up here and i guess the best way to describe this part right here is it's kind of gonna look like an observatory or a museum or something like that um i wasn't intending for it to look like it but i like the design so much and i figured you know what this will work uh, good enough for this uh, for this note block shop and after building most of this i realized that these things need to be moved over by like two blocks. I am so lost. I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> I think I managed to figure out what I did wrong. Yep, figured this thing out. The only problem is that we ran out of basalt. Does anyone have any basalt? Oh, that's right. I'm the only one on right now. <laughs> to the nether we go. And I remember there was a basalt delta is not too incredibly far from where our main nether hub is. There it is. Careful, careful. Ooh, be very, very careful. <laughs> this will probably be enough. And now that we're back, let's actually get back to work. And the walls have been finished. And again, just imagine all this copper being completely oxidized and completely green and you get a pretty good idea as to what this will look like. Actually, scratch that because we still don't have a roof yet. So, uh, let's, let's actually go and do that and change that now. Well, I'm, oh I'm God. just working on a roof while, uh, you know, I guess, uh, un, you know, not expectedly being in a VC, I guess, but okay. Yeah. How, how have you been? Good. Are you still recording or no? Uh, Are you doing... I mean, I always record. Why? When do I not record? You're but, always recording. You're never not recording. Yeah, I mean, my my eyes have Ooh. cameras in them. I mean, come on. Oh, so okay. Quick question. Quick question. What was your mm -hmm. instinct just to give the uh, the potato back to me, like the the second you got it? Um. Yeah, I got it. I'm like Puffy probably did this, and I saw that you were online, so I'm like, hey, Chris, I have a gift for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Um. <laughs> been there, done that, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I don't know what to do with it. We could try to set up a trap in someone else's base together if you want. Hmm, we we could. Yeah, we could um, go and we could go do that. Do you have redstone do materials to set it up? No, I have deep slate and like two bits of copper. Um, does Eva have a door? Because we I could think get she her. does. Because I, I don't want to get puffy with the way he from the sounds of yeah. things. It's probably not a good time to get him right now. So. 
What if yeah. we got like, what if we just set up the yeah, same it's... trap? She does. That... If I set up this, right if we here. set up the same trap as her, or as I did to you. Oh, is this her shop? Yeah. Well, what it's about either her... Eva's or it's like super loving guy. Or what? Someone. What about her base? What about her base? We can look. Okay, let's let's have a look. Um, where? This is Eva's, I think. Yeah, Eva's portal. All right, where is she set up? I, th I think. Th okay, I think she's over here. Where is oh, that? Wow. That's cactus. Okay, Bally, where are all, all the cactuses? I don't know. Is this hers? Does she have Wait, a door? Is this a trading hall? She, she has a what door. It'd be kind of hard to to hide it. Like it was easy to hide it because you had two. You had a double door, but I don't think it's uh right. quite as easy. Oh, to it's hide a trading here. hall. This is a really big trading hall. Oh, is it? Hmm. Yeah, with pumpkins and melons and stuff. Loyalty three. Hiding it was is a lot harder than I than I thought. It was easy getting you, but everyone else is kinda, yeah, because kind of tricky. You went for the door to my trading hall. I know. Cause it. it because, again, you had a double door, and I thought, you know, that'd be probably easy to hide it. Um, yeah, you all know what happened is I opened the door, and then uh, it spat out the potato. I didn't know that happened. I saw the observer. I'm like, did Puffy build a secret base or something? I, I thought, I so I was just spamming the door seeing and listening for the piston sound. Then I decided to break him like, oh, there's a potato on the ground. Why is this here? <laughs> I read it. Yeah, I think Super actually gave it to me first off. Like, in my last episode, he gave it to me. Oh, Super started it? I think so. So I think we should hook it up to the flower shop. That's that's what you think. Yeah. Hello, name tag. Or name ta... Name... Name ta... Name ta. Ta. J ta. D ta. Lo lovely name you got there, ta. All right. I'm in the shopping district, Um, so we want to... Want to put it... Eva's flower shop. Yep. Okay. We can... Do the same thing I did before. I and forgot that the nether existed, and I'm just rip tiding over to the uh, shopping district. Um. Okay. I'm. I'm. Ma I'm making a mess of Eva's shop because I have no room in my inventory. Chris is griefing. No, uh, unintentionally. I didn't mean to. Just th th things happen to fall on the floor. Okay. I. I did. I didn't mean to. Yeah. My axe just so happened to hit the door when I was swinging it. Okay. I did. I didn't mean to. Wait. Did you actually? Did you swing the door? Um, a little bit. I mean, it was in the way. Why are there random pieces of cake around the world? Uh, probably for Miva, because she likes doing that. He sent, like, a thing to one of the chats that said, This is a reminder to not waste your food. It's a screenshot of an eating cake. Some hungry people in Africa could have used that cake. In the savannas yeah. of Minecraft. So, some savannah village could be, could be feasting tonight, but we just... Happen to not not finish. Give them cake. Let them eat cake. I almost activated it. No, you can activate activate it. Um, let, let me let me just put something in it right now. And yeah, if we just put the door down, yeah. If we just put something in there, and now just activate it. Just just activate it. There we go. Observer. Observer. But now what we need it's the hot potato breakout. Did you do it? Oh yeah. Um, making a mess here. Sorry, Eva. <laughs> And there we go. Now hey. no one will ever know. <laughs> Don't go in that shop unless you want the hot potato. <laughs> did he? <laughs> did he actually get it? Did he? Oh, he actually got it. Well, that was that was quick. <laughs> you beamed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got it. Oh wait, I should I should leave. I don't want it again. I don't want it a third time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to throw it to me. Oh, no. ah! <laughs> wait, if I fill if I fill up my inventory with. Just stuff. Uh, there we go. Now he can't get me. I, I'm, I'm filling it up with terracotta. After those little shenanigans have subsided, we managed to finish the entirety of the exterior of our shop. And all we have to do is just wait for the game to do the rest of the work and have the entirety of them all this copper oxidized. But yeah, in in the whole, I even at this one state, I'm actually really liking the design and the shape of this thing. But now let's actually get to work on some of the uh, some of the interior and the detail work. And this is pretty much the bulk of the interior right here. We just have a whole bunch of chests because not only am I going to be making note block songs for everyone, I'm also going to be selling a whole bunch of things needed to create them. So in case anyone ever wants to uh, create note block songs of their own, they can totally do that. But also over here, 
what I have is basically um, a sort of sign up area for a, a particular type of a note block song you'd actually want. Um, and I also wrote this book. I won't read it in particularly, but if you want to pause the video and read it yourself, then you can totally, uh, totally do that. But yeah, there's a, a couple things I do need to do need to mention about this book. First off, is that um, I'm going to have a few examples of note block songs underneath the ground. So I'm gonna um, tunnel on here just a uh, just a little bit to uh, to dig out a little bit of um, a little bit of space to make some and uh, note block examples. Actually, I think that's all I had to mention about that one book. Actually, I just realized that maybe we don't actually have to tunnel down as far as we had as far as we think because Evelyn is actually building a huge mountain over this. So. Maybe possibly we might not have to go down as far as uh, as far as we might think so long as we get um Evelyn's permission that we could use the space and for the looks of things everything is all good This will probably be enough room and now time for the fun and very um unconventional Freestyling where I have literally no idea what this will look like sometimes Sometimes I will say freestyling does work and end up uh, making some pretty decent things other times it does make some a uh, very very uh, inappropriate things, as I have seen in the past. So hopefully we get something that looks uh, just a little bit better than uh, than the latter. Wait a minute, I literally said this last episode, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta sometimes you just gotta freestyle for certain parts of your build. Thankfully, freestyling seems to have worked again. But something I'm not freestyling, obviously, is the uh, is the example songs themselves. And while like you know I could build this and um and record at the same time, it's kind of hard to actually uh, record myself actually actually making note block songs like there's a there's a reason I do all the building off camera and then you just see the final product so uh I'll bring you back in just a little bit after I uh, after I manage to build them oh and by the way there's gonna be about three or four uh, different types of examples I don't want to have too many but just enough to give uh, people an idea and a couple hours later and we managed to create a few little um example note block songs and I will uh, walk you around with them so this is the first one I made Kind of sounds like the um, the end of those old cartoon type things. Do you know what I mean? Like I I know that song has a name. I just can't remember what it is. But um, I'm sure you know um what this song is right here because if you've been watching um the latest season of Hermitcraft, you might recognize this one. That is of course Wonderwall right there. And also um I didn't mention this, but if you pull this lever down, then this actually loops. So then it goes around one time, and then um, a piston will actually send a signal through, and then it'll go again and again and again. But uh, for the sake of uh, just showing you around right now, I won't. Uh, I won't do that. And then the last one I made over here is um, this one, which is yeah, uh, a little bit of uh, Pirate to the Caribbean right there, which is a uh, pretty cool. And this last one, um. I didn't make I didn't make any uh, any song over here because I just couldn't think of a, a good song to make. So if you know any uh, any good short songs or any parts of a song you'd like me to make down here, then um leave it down below. And if you see one you like to see inside of here, uh, then uh, thumbs it up, and then I might even uh, build it down here eventually. And I think apart from getting the books and quills, this entire shop oh actually and the and the uh, the copper oxidizing, I think the entire shop is now um pretty much ready and open for business so any cosmics out there that wants their base to be a little bit more musical then uh you know where to head to and is this is going to be a very exciting type of thing i get to finally work on inside of cosmic but yeah for now thanks for watching and i'll see you all later